This training video will cover conditional user-defined variables in MarketSite. You'd use a conditional UDV if you wanted to combine two or more variables into a single variable, perhaps to define a market segment. In this example, we're going to identify 18 to 24 year olds who use a lot of minutes on their cell phones every month. To create this new variable, we're going to click New, then choose Conditional Variable from the list. We'll call this variable Market Segments. Let's put this new variable in the Demographics category. To define the values for this new variable, click Add New Value. We'll call this value Age 18 to 24, High Usage. The next step is to define the value, which will be based on the values of the predecessor variables age and monthly minutes used. We'll start with age by searching for it here. We enter the word age and hit enter. This will filter this dropdown so it includes only the variables with that text string. The first one happens to be age, but when we open the dropdown, we can see the others. Next, we choose from these two dropdowns to complete the expression. First, we select equal to, then we select the 18 to 24 year old age group, and then just click add to definition. This expression now appears in the box below. The next part of our definition is about the monthly minutes used. So let's search for that variable to build the next part of the expression. I enter minutes and I get the variable I'm looking for. Now we have to define what we mean by high usage. I'd say that's more than 30 minutes a day or about 900 minutes a month. First, we'll select greater than from the operator dropdown, then enter 900 into this value box. Since monthly minutes is a continuous variable, Market site shows the unique values that were provided by the survey respondents. Before adding this new expression to the previous one, we need to connect them. Since both of these criteria need to be true, we'll select AND, and then click Add to Definition to complete the expression. This is a relatively simple expression using only two variables. We could use more variables, and also make this more complex using parentheses, and ORs, and NOTs. We could also edit individual parts of the expression if we spot a mistake or need to make a change. To edit a part of this expression, just select it and make changes above using the dropdowns. For example, to change our high usage threshold from 900 minutes to 600, just edit this value and click Replace Selected Clause. We can also undo or remove certain items. Let's click OK to save this value. And there's the value we just created. Let's have MarketSite create another value automatically by clicking this button, Include All Others. This value will include all respondents that do not fit into this description. As you can see, MarketSite has created an expression that is the opposite of the value we already created. To save this new conditional UDV, we'll click OK. MarketSite has created this new variable, and it now appears here in the Demographics category. You can also see the two values age 18 to 24 high usage, and the all others value. To get a quick view of the summary stats for this or any other variable, just right click on the name. We can see that only a small percent of the respondents are in this market segment. This new variable is ready for use right now, or we can make changes to the definition and also add additional market segments before using it in a crosstab, a chart, or a dashboard. That concludes this training video on conditional user-defined variables.